Alright guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on Dan's Veto and hopefully by the end of this video it's going to be roadworthy and looking sick. So as you've seen in the last video all the structural damage has been done and repaired but today is the good part where we get all the aesthetic bits done and it's going to get wrapped, get all the nice alloys put on it and it's going to be looking fresh. Right so we're going to try and give it a very specific look. Dan's sort of into the camperish slash off-roady sort of look but it is a van so we're going to go down the route of using swamper alloys which are like that type of wheel there on his veto. I think it'll look freaking sick. Andy thinks it'll look sick. And I reckon John does as well. Um, and then it's gonna get wrapped in all kinds as well. So by the end of this video, it should be looking pretty cool. Like. So first, I'm gonna be removing all the seat belts so I can get them sent off to the airbag team as they take, I don't know, about a week or so. Um, I've ordered the front wishbone like you say, you can see that wheel's further back. And I'm going to be stripping the door, the wing and the bonnet off it. So when it's wrapped, when you open the door, it doesn't look white. Obviously, it's a black van. Same with the bonnet and the wing. So I'm going to get them prepped. And then one of our good friends, SEC, lent our trailer. So basically, he said, if I get them off, strip them down, he'll spray them free of charge. So it's very nice of him. So that's what we're going to do. Right, so that wasn't too bad getting them seat belts out. So the first thing to take off is the bonnet. Having a jab leak. Yep, there she is. Bump her off. There we go. There's the wing off. So now that, that wing's off, you can see the work that's been done. It's actually quite good to be honest. Move that. That's the new piece. All seems sealed in. All this is new down here. Well, off off the donor piece. But it's works looking quite good to be honest. Quite neat. A few of you has asked about the, what's it called, the chassis number. I'll, although it is slightly ripply down here, I've had to leave it in for the chassis number. I don't think you can see it there, but I'm glad because I don't want any ears ringing it. Bonnet and wing are off. Time to get the door off. Now I have just undone the wires out the door and literally popped this back, pulled a foam thing out of here and you can get to the connectors and you pull that out. I think I've got to loosen this little grub screw. Same on the bottom hinge and two bolts here. And then I'm going to get the door off and strip the door down. Let's see how that goes. There we go. So now that they're all off and stripped, I'm going to get scotchy. Now he's giving me a red scotchy. Normally you'd use grey on a car bodywork, but with it being the inside and being a solid black, he said the red scotchy would be fine. So he's giving me one of these. Told me to scrub it all, so basically, see that it's shiny there. I've just done a little tiny bit up the top here. You know, it's dull. You just take the shine off it. Right, guys. So, I want to say a massive thank you to today's sponsor, Vehicle Score. If you're in the market for buying a new car and you don't want your cap tripped off, this is what you need to be doing. <laughs> so all you got to do is put in the reg, which is Sierra November One Nine Kilo Victor Uniform, and hit enter, and it'll generate your score. So here it's given us a score of 678 out of 999, which is saying it's not bad. It's five years old with 127,000 miles on the clock from its last MLT. So next bit, we scroll down and this is the really important checks. This is what you want to be doing before you buy any vehicle. And if you use code TVR20 at checkout, it'll save yourself 20% and you'll get it for £9.56, bargain. So after you've put in your payment details, It'll generate your report, which takes not long. <laughs> so now that the report's generated, we're going to check out if there's any red flags why we shouldn't buy this vehicle. So as we scroll down, we can see it. it's got an amber warning for insurance category, which we sort of know because we're buying out of Copart. And it's got an amber warning for being an ex-taxi. Again, we know this as it still had the stickers on for the taxi company. But the most important thing is there's no outstanding finance on it and it's not stolen. So it's good to go really. So there we have it, car's all checked. It didn't flag up anything that we didn't know. Um, 
So again, I want to just say a massive thank you to Vehicle Score for sponsoring today's video. And don't forget to use code TVR20 at checkout or click the link in the description below to save yourself 20%. As you may have seen in the last video with Dan's Mercedes Vito, it's been in a heavy crash. So we're going to plug OBD11 into Dan's Vito and see how many fault codes we've got. But so all you've got to do is plug this in the OBD2 port, switch your ignition on, hit connect, and then it'll say select device. So you'll click that. But so all you've got to do is hit tap to scan and it'll go through all the separate diagnostic modules and it'll tell you how many fault codes you've got. So now it's showing up, five faults found. So we'll click that and we've got a mass airflow fault Intake air temperature. I thought it'd have more, to be honest. To be honest, Dale, yeah, I thought it'd have a lot more. So there we go. OBD11 saved us about 70 quid in garage fees in uh, having it diagnosed. So massive thanks to them. So go and grab yourselves one and you'll thank us later. And if you want to save even more money, you can use code TVR at checkout to save yourselves an extra 10% off. Or you can scan the QR code on screen or click the link in the description below. So we are, all those panels are now scotchied up, ready for edging in. And there's Jamie who's gonna be doing it. Looking a lot cleaner. And this one's only getting the top bit there that you'll see because the rest's gonna be wrapped. So it's a nice easy one. Don't realise how much work's involved, do you Jay? Nope, you've got sore fingers now, <laughs> haven't you mate? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I caught one of my previous cuts. It was uh, I was leaking. Here's a graph, like, I, I don't want to do it as a job anyway, put it that way. Neither do I. <laughs> there we are, so that's the before, I'll give you the after shot when it's done. I'll be picking them up in the morning. So, we will be back then. So it's the next day and we forgot to get the after shots of the door, but we did just get delivery of Dan's new wheels, so let's check them out. And these have just turned up. Be rude not to have a little cheeky look, wouldn't it? So... The wishbones arrived, that come the other day. We've got the seatbelts back from the airbag team and the new beautiful wheels. So let's have a little look at one. Oh, they're nice. And have a little cheeky look at these. And them beauties. Now we have gone just for budget tyres, as it's not going to be used off-road, really. They're ready to go on. We've got a Dent man coming out on Saturday, who's another YouTubist. So he's going to come out and have a little look and do a little bit of a collab together. And the vehicle wrap, the people who are wrapping it, are coming out in about two weeks. Not too long, so hopefully be on the road shortly. And we'll get all them on uh, before you know it. All right, guys back on the van today and today we've got Joe T out he's got his own channel so make sure you go and check that out and he is a PDR dent man now we actually had to go with this you haven't seen it but we bought a cheap kit and we were useless at it so we've got someone in who sort of knows what he's doing <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but Winger. this is this is Joe's first look at the vehicle so let's see what he thinks so we've got I know that one I don't know if he'll get that one out that's on the crease but some things will have to be filled, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And that's not a problem because it's getting wrapped. There's something there. Yeah, see these are minor. Right, that so might be tight along the edge because yeah, strong yeah. that is, but most of it should move out. Right, this sliding door's the worst, I'd say. So this is your, your challenge, really. We've got a dint there, straight one across there, one there. What, what, is it, you, what is it, you said flam mango? Yeah, <laughs> proper flam mango, <laughs> didn't it? What about that? We've got that there. And there is something along here. And then there's this sliding door. Yeah, that's proper way you do that, isn't it? Yeah, so they're all minor. So I'm going to do your larger stuff. Good. This one down here, one down there, got one there. Tidy all them up and then start swinging back round. Right. So I'll start with glue to reduce it down. And then I'll open it up, see if I can get behind and just finish it off, tweak it. Can you look at that there, Jono? So look at the reflection oh, yeah. of that board. That's what the board's there for. So you want them lined straight oh, as right. possible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the idea. <laughs> yeah.
How's it going? Uh, well, not too bad. Seven yeah. hours. Uh, my head's hurting now. <laughs> I've done what I can. Nice uh, one, mate. We appreciate it. Starting at the beginning. The wing is fine now. Um, yeah, no issues there. Yeah. The top of the doors. They're uh, flaman flamango, is it? It says. <laughs> yeah, flamango. They go. <laughs> uh, but I've done what I can. I re definitely reduced the amount of filler he's going to have to use. Nice one. Um, but yeah. And then onto the boot. Uh, same again. A uh, couple of them have come out clean along the back here. Uh, but your sharper ones like this one, this one, uh, that massive one uh, is down down to that. Right again. So only a little bit of filler needed there. Well, and not the, bad uh, though, is it? The gentleman's sausages down on the door. <laughs> These aren't budging. Okay, nice dude. Tight ones. Yeah. But I've done what I can. What do you do about those? Is that a filler job? Uh, yeah, or maybe someone with 10 years experience or something, they might be able to knock them out, but it's not budging for me. Well, it's a <laughs> solid job, so thanks for spending the, the whole day on it. It's like, solid, but... Uh, well, it's a solid time it's spent better. on it. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah, definitely. It's helped yeah. us out massively, that. So when you look on your cameras, you see I've just been laid down on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so your, what's your channel called? Uh, Joe T. Joe T, yeah. Dash 92. Dash 92. Uh, yeah, man. What do you get up to on there? Like I've seen you've done uh, the damn Rebuilds, damping. nothing like yeah. you guys, but rebuilds. Some PDR stuff on there, uh, maintenance, uh, detailing stuff. Everything I do is on there. Yeah, man, um, nice. So, yeah, that's cool. it. Well, so, uh, go check that one out. Give Joe a, a like and a subscribe and all that good stuff. He's done us a solid one today, so go help him out. Right, so it's a new day and all the parts have arrived. So we've basically got two days to get all this boxed off before the wrappers turn off. <laughs> but we have got a couple of little sketchy bits to repair like this as well, so there's going to be some filler involved. For today, we're going to be refitting the seat belts, putting the new wishbone on, putting as many plastics on as we can, refitting the new bumper. I go and get it. <laughs> so here it is. This is the bumper we got with the front end, which is, I think it's a commercial one, to be honest. And we was going to prime it, flat it, and wrap it, but then well, all, all this is one part, so it'd have been it'd have been shifty. Mm. And this is what we've replaced it with a V-class bumper, which, as everyone's going to agree, it looks far better. A nice and tasty it, splitter, and it come with a free splitter, <laughs> never fitted. So obviously it's going on. Yeah, right it? it is. So we're just going to chop the bumper down now. The bumper, safety first. Um, <laughs> slam panel. Slam panel. But well, yeah. we've got to chop it just flush there because the bumper sits on them bits there, so whip it off. There she is. I'm eating that off a little Shortened. bit. Shortened. Stubby. <laughs> so we've just put a little bit of primer and sprayed them black as well just to cut edges. So now that bar's cut down, we're going to chuck it on, trial run it. Um, we need to get that bottom bit in. Can you let go at all? Yeah. Whoa. It's well better. Don't slam it. <laughs> looks nice and silver. Yeah, so. I mean, the white bonnet sort of blends in with the silver. That looks nice, that. You go wide a bit, don't you? I've got got blanks as well in the van to blank off them parking sensors. Definitely a nicer bumper that. It's a boring crap plastic one. Yeah. Fresh. 100%. Right, rip it off because no point in having the bumper on. We just, I just wanted to see what it looked like because I've not seen it yet. Yeah. Um, that will need stripping gonna... down for the wrappists. Yeah, we're going to leave it off because of the wrap. It'd be easier for them to do. So that, that's rubbed down pretty much where I think we're going to leave it at. I mean, I could probably, I might fly over it again with a lighter, a slightly lighter sandpaper. But, because it's a bit of a, Dan was just going to wrap over the mess that was there anyway. We sort of just smoothed it out for him a little bit. So it's getting wrapped over like, he's not painting it. Naughty. Naughty, isn't he? Ah. Not painting us. Yeah, the stuff. But you know, that's what he wants to do to his van, so I'm not particularly bothered to be honest. 
Right, so to finish the day off, Andy got started by fitting the brand new refurb safety belts that we had just gotten back from the safety belt guys. And Liam cracked on with adding filler to the bodywork to fill up any holes and gaps so that we've got a nice smooth finish before applying the wrap. And removed all the trims from the front bumper so that it could get wrapped. And finally, we fitted the new wishbone. Right guys, so it's a new day, back on Dan's Veto. Now the lad's from Hydro Skids HD, so he's got a YouTube channel, he does drifting. He also wraps cars as well, so he's coming here today to wrap Dan's Veto for him. So the lads have just chopped all the wrap up now. I'll show you the colour now. It looks a bit boring, but I think once it's on the car and you see it in the light, it's not that bad. It's like a satin, metallic, like graphite-y, gunmetal-y, grey sort of colour. Supreme satin, dark grey, metallic. I was literally bang on other than saying Supreme yeah. there. So as Dan would say, it's a, it's a palatial wrap. That's what he says. So it's time for the lads to get that on there. Me and Andy aren't doing it because we're shit at it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, so the wrap is done and it's looking sick. But before our big reveal, there's a few more bits we're gonna do, and that's build the front bumper back up, throw on the splitter, fit on these badass swamper wheels, and then we're ready to show you what she looks like. So there you have it guys, there's Dan's Veto looking absolutely awesome, awesome wrap, sweet wheels and I think we can all agree we've put a pretty badass Veto on the road. So Dan's made up with it, we're all really happy with it. So that's it for today's video, if you've enjoyed the video please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, subscribing really helps us out so if you don't mind taking the time to do it, we'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching guys, we'll see you in the next one.